the best time to sell something is at the point of sale immediately always and you know when you, we, we talk about this as well and I know you guys do too when the average person joins a gym mm -hmm. as soon as they leave the gym if they were just sold the membership if mm -hmm. they were just sold the membership as soon as they leave the gym they're gonna buy things to support their new gym membership yes they're gonna go get supplements yep. they're gonna go get new clothes mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna get sneakers they may even go grocery shopping and get some like new healthy like food to like yeah. make sure they get the most out of this. Mm -hmm. And the gym owner's got supplements sitting right there. Yep. And they've got apparel sitting right there. Mm -hmm. And they walk out the door with just a membership with not even a pitch. It's so as cool. opposed to tying it all together mm -hmm. where it's like, hey, here's how you're going to get the most out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to get this. We're going to get this. I know your goal was this. Also, this is, you know, specifically designed just for this. That person's, even though the, the gym owner believes that they're being greedy now. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to keep pushing. I'm not going to, I don't want to sell them. So you're making their life, me personally, you're making my life easier. Mm -hmm. If I joined your gym mm -hmm. and you said, Mike, here are the supplements, based on your goal, here are the supplements that I would take, I'd be like, good, because I was about to Google it anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you for Can saving you me the time yep. and saving me possible mistakes. Yeah. So there's two kind of ways to look at this, right? So we talk about. I'll talk about the more of the business model aspect and why that's important, and then we can talk about the feelings aspect of like mm -hmm. it's actually ethically right for you. So right. from a business standpoint, we talk about verticals, right, and wallets, different spending wallets. And so you, you said it exactly right. They're going to go look for supplements. So I think back to a time when I hired an, my first coach for mm -hmm. online training, and he sent me the program and all this stuff, and he sent me a list of supplements I needed to buy, and what did I do? I went and spent $500 on supplements because mm -hmm. I was like, this is what I need to do. I'm trying to be successful. This is the plan. I'm going to do it. I didn't ask questions. Because you didn't want to not do yeah because you feel like that could be the missing link that if you don't be. get results that's the missing link exactly or and i've been taking supplements forever anyway so but he was like you need these these are the ones i want you to take and i was like cool and yeah. i still do this if my coach is like hey i actually want to add this into your regimen cool i'm going to add that into right. my regimen because i understand the importance of that and how it works in, across the mm -hmm. entire plan right. and so with these different spending wallets you mentioned you got supplements so you got products right so they're going to go and spend and by the way for anyone listening or watching, supplement products are the easiest thing to sell. Like, mm -hmm. you know this, I know this. Like, because that is an instant result. It's it. And they can feel it. It's right. tangible. Right. And so you're handing it across the table to them or across the counter or right next to you. Like, they're feeling it. They're walking out the door with something tangible. That they can take today. Exactly. And they immediately start to see it. And it's like, cool. So you get immediate buy-in right there, which is huge. The other piece behind it, too, is you got that and you got apparel, right? You mentioned apparel. And so... They're going to go out and spend $150, $200, $400 at Lululemon or Athleta or mm -hmm. somewhere else, and they're going to buy it, or they're going to go on Amazon. So it's like, what if you just said instead, cool, so we actually have different shirts uh, for different days of training. And so like red is for Monday, blue is for Tuesday, white is for Wednesday, and we got black for Thursday or whatever, right? And it's like, cool, so um, do you want red, white, do you want all of them, or do you just want to start with red and white? Yeah. Right? So it's like, or you could be like, cool, so you're going to come in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is your schedule. So cool. Let's go ahead and start with that. Do you want to add Saturday's color, which is purple? You want to just add that and start with that? And so just the assumed sale, right? And I like that idea. Yeah. So it's just simple. Yeah. And so that, and then you've got other things like meals and mm -hmm. um, anything else along those lines. And the thing is, is, and I'm not sure that this blew my mind when I first started with Gym Launch, is that you can dip into those verticals. And on the ethical side, doesn't it make more sense if you're a gym owner and you're the one that is, and I'm using this loosely, prescribing the workouts to them, right? You're not a doctor, but if you're the one that is telling them what they should be doing from a fitness standpoint, mm -hmm. and if you're also helping them with nutrition, you're seeing the entire picture of what's happening. You know their goals, you know exactly what they're trying to do, you know what problems they're facing in their life, what stressors, all of these things. Do you really want that client to go down to Joe Schmo at GNC? And get who God knows what. Yeah, yeah. doesn't fit their goal. And they then go spend $500. Or they go into Amazon and they just start Googling stuff. Well, and, and the guys at GNC <laughs> don't know anything about... Nothing. Have you ever bought something at GNC? Yes. And asked the them name. a question like, Dude. hey, do you, do you guys have any type of like, uh, like, if you ask from BCAAs, a lot of times they're like, uh, what's a BCAA? And you're like, what? They're you're no selling idea. this. Yes, they have no idea. You know, it's pretty crazy. And it's, and it's scary. Yeah. Right? So ethically as a gym owner, like, do you want that? No. Like, do you really want that? And the other piece is like on the apparel side, it's like, do you want them repping something that's not your gym? Mm -hmm. Cause think about, there's also a status piece and like this whole part of being a part of a community and a tribe. Yeah. And when they're wearing that, there's a sense of pride right. as they're doing that. And then when their friends see it or they're like, oh, you go to that gym, 
that's really cool, mm -hmm. right? And they start to see the changes, and it just becomes a part of the community. So when they show up and everyone else is wearing a red shirt on Monday and they're wearing a red shirt, now they're part of something bigger than themselves. Right. You and now, feel it. Yeah, you feel it and you enjoy it. You're wearing the, you're wearing the jersey. Yeah. So yeah. there's that, those pieces of like, if you're a business owner and you're not dipping into the different verticals and wallets, spending wallets, you're losing out on massive amounts of revenue. And on the ethical side, like you should be doing these things. Right. Because you would do them much better and improve the entire process for your clients and get them better results if it came from you. See, and this is an example, right? So we got, I think everyone listening right now is, is probably going like, shit, that's probably should get that down. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we do get a large question, how do you overcome I need to talk to my spouse? And oh, it's yeah. like, man, that's a wrong thing to focus on yeah. right now. Yeah. Just focus, if, imagine if you focused on how do I sell these things better? Yes. How do I work this into my pitch? How do I give the tour right so that while I'm giving the tour, I'm closing them half before they even take the class. Yes. They're already like, I, how do I not work out here? That's because the cool thing is what I what I talk about too is if you could sell them in the during the tour before they even take the class, they see the class different. Mm -hmm. The class it, it's kind of like if I told you, like let's say you know I know food. Yeah. And I and you know that I know Italian food specifically. Which you do. And, <laughs> and I do. And I say. <laughs> Kelly, you got to go to this restaurant. It is the best Italian food you're ever going to have. Literally, it's, it is authentic. It's the only real Italian food I had. As soon as you tell me you need to go there, I'm going. Yeah. Now, here's the best part. When you take a bite, do you taste real Italian food? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. Right? If I tell you a movie, it's really not that funny. Honestly, the jokes are lame. It's like they overact. When you watch that movie, you're seeing overacting. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it lame. Yep. If you can get them... If you can explain the benefits of your workout in such a great way through the tour, mm -hmm. the benefits of the structure of your of your methodology is so great. When they take the workout, they feel that workout differently. Absolutely, they're like, "Oh, the, I can see this. I've never felt this before." Mm -hmm. And that's simply, and they might never have felt that before, but they're aware of it because they were already sold that before they even touched it. They went from a tire kicker and a tester and someone dipping their toe in the water to a committed individual who 100%. sees that this is the path to success and this will get me to my goals. 100%. And that's a massive mind shift. You know, it's funny when people say that we don't want tire kickers. It's like, dude, just get them in the door. That's it. Just make them a not tire kicker. Let, let them goes, kick your tires. Maybe your tires are good. That goes back to you make <laughs> your perfect client. Right. They don't, this is, oh man, if I could get anyone to understand this is like, how many times have you heard, oh, I'm not getting quality leads? The, I the, leads, the leads suck, right? Well, we we like, don't use the word quality for leads here. Yeah, it does because every lead is, is high quality. Everybody wants to be in better shape. Yes. Who does it? Who wouldn't take better right now? Exactly. Alex would take better right now. Everyone. And that guy is freaking, I don't even understand his body. He looks yeah. like chiseled. Insane. Whatever. But the point is, he would take better. He's a Persian guy. Everybody can't say that. Greek guy. He's a Persian, He's a Persian yeah, guy. There you go. With crazy, <laughs> yep. with crazy white beard. Oh, yeah. I,